So P and Q together started a business with the initial investment of rupees 8000 and 16000 respectively and the time period of their investment is 4 is to 3. So the amount what they have invested is given as well as the time period is given in terms of ratio. Not a problem right 4 is to 3. So either you can take it as 4 months or 3 months or 4 years 3 years because the value was given in the ratio you can take it as 4x 3x whatever be right. So now the profit of P has been given our target target is to find what is the profit of Q. So first there are two person in a business. The first person investment is 8000 and his investment ratio is 4 part. Either you can take it as 4x or you can just take only 4 right. So the second person investment will be 16000 and the time investment will be 3x. So now we can cancel 30, 30 here. We can cancel x and x here. So 18s are 8, 82s are 16, 12s are 2, 22s are 4. So finally, their investment ratio is 2 is to 3. So now we know that the person P is getting a profit of 4000. We already know the P investment is two part investment. So this two part investment, what he is getting is 4000. So our target is to find what is the profit of Q. So Q investment is three part is equals to X. So cross multiply it, 1, 2s are 2. So this will be 2000. So X is equals to 6000. So that means the total profit that was received to the person Q is 6000.